I've heard it all before. Unless you're here to apologise, you can leave. I don't know what my dad ever saw in you. So you keep telling me. Actually, he saw a chance to be happy. But you couldn't cope with that, could you? You know, all I ever wanted to do was be a good mum to you. You were never my mum. I had the best mum in the world, and then you waltz in acting like she never existed. That's just not true. Telling me what to do, trying to turn my dad against me, flirting with my granddad. Oh, being friendly is not flirting. It is when you turn up to Gramps' barbecue with your boobs on oh, show. Right again. If my mum hadn't have died, Dad had never looked twice at you. You sad, desperate slapper. Yeah? Well, then I wouldn't have been stuck with some selfish, spiteful little brat who thinks she's something special, because you're not, and you never were, and your precious mother didn't even want you. What? She just fell pregnant. You were an accident. Or did Daddy never mention that? <laughs> you're well out of my league. <laughs> yeah, like I am. Don't say stuff to try and make me feel better. <laughs> yeah, because I totally do that. I mean, you've got a brain, and you're funny, and yeah. And you really bugged me off yesterday. I've been so stupid. I mean... You're amazing. And I really like you. Well, that's good, cos... I could say the same. And you made me realise... I need you. I was terrified, but those two, they gang up on you. I don't know what they'd have done if I'd said no. As soon as I got in, I wanted to get the car back and go home. I was begging her. But Amelia got angry. She grabbed the wheel. She's a psycho dad. This isn't fair. Pretty good. Pretty darn good.